afternoon. Hey. <laughs> it is now two o'clock and we've just leaving our place to go and explore Lithuania. Yeah. But the sun only sets at nine. So basically we've still got a full day. Let's go. And you're making up a rules. On our way to Lithuania's Royal Palace. So excited, the sky is blue, the birds are chirping. And it's not so cold and it's not so windy either. Yeah, it's which a really, is really, really good. nice day. Girl, I saw you staring at me from the other side. And I don't know what about you, but I got but to just stumbled across the cathedral of a city car. How pretty! This dude looks way cooler than the other horse guy, so we've taken a video of. He's in like he's in like a samurai suit, which is really cool. Checking out the bounce. The Palace of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania. So we have made it to the Palace of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania. And this place was actually originally demolished in 1801, if I stand corrected. And then they rebuilt it. And today it's used more for like ceremonies. So yeah, it's like really modernized version of what it once was. We're now on our way to the Geda Minas Tower. Uh, it's a tower that we could see actually just from our, where we stay. And apparently there's a cool viewpoint over there. That's the tower. So you can either take the funicular up or you can walk up the stairs over here. And I think you guys know which one we're going to do. <laughs> we are now going to start our trek up to Kiriminas Tower. We've made it up to the top of the tower. The views are epic up here. The walk was not bad at all, like a five to 10 minute uh, stroll. It's pretty good. I don't really see the need to take the vernacular unless you may be injured. So yeah, just get up, stroll, and just enjoy the views. It's amazing. Take 500, Tam says I'm not smiling. <laughs> We're now on our way to the bottom to walk around and see what else we can find here. to the bottom. From the bottom to the top. To Only the top, took five to minutes to get down. We make it sound like it's an accomplishment. <laughs> but it was because it was actually quite steep coming down. So I definitely suggest wearing proper shoes, like tackies. Yeah. Yeah. Now Tams is hungry, right? Yeah. So we have to go feed her belly. idea which street we stumbled across but it's a street where no cars are allowed to go through which is awesome because then we can walk wherever we want and uh, yeah it's really chill it's, vibes. Yeah it's directly across from the bell tower so they just keep going straight. We haven't found food yet. Found the street name. We have no idea what's going on but there is a lot of cameras over here 
recording this guy crawling on the floor. He is now changed positions and he's actually quite crazy. He's, walk, he's actually doing this across a busy street. Really interested to know what's happening. Nikki's currently looking for a place where we can have lunch. This little guy's also looking for lunch. Hello! We have found our restaurant. It's 1.5 k's from here. Apparently the food is amazing. I hope so because I'm starving. So let's go! We found the restaurant. It's a really local restaurant. This thing is massive! So this is a Zeppelin. It's basically a size of a potato, <laughs> but it's a potato dumpling stuffed with meat inside. And then they give you a cream cheese to have with it. And we've got bacon toppings. You can have a peek inside. How's it, Nick? It's really, really nice. Then they say it's quite big. It is quite big. It's the size of Cameron's head. And some mesh. Except for the fact that I just burnt my tongue as soon as the food hit it. It was really good. It's got like this sweet tanginess to it. Kind of like they put like a chutney on it almost. So it's got the sweetness to the meat. It's the smoothness but crunchiness of the potatoes because they've kind of like roasted the top of the potatoes and then the little bits of bacon and you can taste the spring onion. This is really nice. Salmon is full and satisfied. That was a really big portion. I think we're gonna make our way home for a little siesta. Sam still wants an ice cream. Oh, yes, you can only yes, believe this. I think this is their local supermarket. Iki, you're gonna go look for an ice cream. There is so many different types of ice cream. Oh, oh my goodness, how do you even choose? That's only the bottom, here's the top. We got the ice creams. After a hard choice, we made our decision. Ice cream is definitely a big thing here, because that was a very hard decision. There are so many different ones to choose from. I think there was like 30 or 40 different types of ice cream. And the craziest thing is, we just showed you one selection, there was the other side. We just made it back to our hotel. It was an absolutely awesome day here. It is very beautiful. It was much better than I expected. I wasn't expecting much. I actually didn't know what to expect, but it was a pleasant surprise. Um, and we're now going to pack all our stuff because we've got an early bus in the morning. So we're going to call it here and get ready to see Riga. There's Tam's jaywalking again. Look at this. She's not even embarrassed. And you? What are you doing? Jaywalking too? I have to follow you to protect you. <laughs> you know? My hero. 